that Killzone Jones, you better remember the name. DJ Killzone Jones, DJ Killzone Jones, real ass game number eight. Um, in this video, I want to talk about the state of the fighting games and building a better fighting game. Um, you have your series out here. Um, you have Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Soul Calibur, Tekken, uh, the crossover games. You have Injustice, and you know the list goes on and on and on and on. But what I'm witnessing here is these companies are, you know, releasing these games um, on a yearly or bi-yearly basis, and they're putting out different iterations of the same product. Um, instead of doing it like Killer Instinct has recently done, and, 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 and Tekken Revolution and Soul Calibur Lost Swords, which I'm playing right now, um, instead of, you know... <laughs> Offering it a lot, a la carte. A lot of these guys, you know, a lot of these companies charge over and over and over again for the same iteration of the same game, but a different iteration with add on different add on content or DLC or whatever. And you know, Super Street Fighter Ultimate Super Street Fighter Four, uh, Ultimate Street Fighter Four, or whatever it's called, is basically the fourth iteration. In the same game, you know, same game, same title. It's just it's the fourth revision iteration of the same game. Whereas Killer Instinct, they offer it for free. You can buy into the um uh, into the content the way that you want. Um, you can get the, all the characters, or you can get all the characters, all the costumes, all the extra DLC that's coming down the line. Um, you know, discounts on the second season. Um, and, you know, Tekken Revolution and Lo Lo uh, Soul Calibur Lost Swords um, offers a similar thing where you get a few characters you start off with. You uh, unlock gear and different in characters and things as you go along. And you can pay in to get more access to the game because once you lose, you have to use a continued uh, ticket or token to get farther. You can, you know, buy more money to outfit your character with new threads and new weapons and stuff like that. You know, and I just feel like this is a better, um, a better look for fighting games because, you know, I, I, fighting games haven't got to the point where every year there's a fighting game and every year it sells out. Like, you know, fighting games, uh, really have to bring something new to the table, you know, for the title to be, to be one, you know, accepted. And two, to be successful. Like, they don't come out of the gate anymore selling like they used to. You know, and when you had, you know, when you had a game that comes out with the same iteration over and over and over again, I mean, literally, it, it, it you know, it gives the, it doesn't get the consumer variety and it's charging them on top of the base experience, which was $60. So if I had to pay for four more iterations at 15 that's a $120 game. When I can offer, the companies can offer these games for free and have people pay into it, which it has been proven time and time again, you know, with with with, with games like Farmville, Candy Crush, Angry Birds. You give people, you know, you get, you get people in there um, and they'll decide how much they want to spend on the game. And a lot of times it's more than what they would have is a brick, you know, for a brick and mortar game. And I feel like a lot of games, sports games need to go free to play. Um, but with fighting games, it's more of a personal experience because it's just you, you know, you don't, you don't have a team you have to manage. You don't have other players that could jump on in your team is really just you unless, you know, they have tag battles. But I don't think that, you know, none of the games have tag battles or have been, you know, mentioned to have tag battles in the future. So, you know, I just think it's a cost effective thing and maybe some a lot of these companies should experiment with this in the future because you know, if they don't it I mean it people can and will grow tired of the sixty dollar brick and mortar 
game the sick and that that has multiple iterations that has multiple uh uh skews people are gonna get tired of shelling out all that type of money and in the hardcore fighting game community i mean it would it would be beneficial to them as well because people can go to these events log into their psn ids they can cut the power ups off power ups off people can play with their character it was sync to their profile um that they can keep track of it easier it's just a lot of different things that, that that come along with this whereas if you have a brick and mortar game everything has to be uh, uh tracked manually online with a third party service where the fighting game uh the development teams on the fighting games could come together and make a unified system um well not for every game but you know for their title make a unified system to up automatically update the game through these titles and give you know the fighting game events uh, more control over what happens with the with the systems they can just download this there's no uh you know inserting of a disc you know it, it can limit the uh, interaction between the setup and the person all they need to do is just they log into PSN and boom they are they're in they're in the game you know they you know uh don't have to worry about stack tracking as much like i just said and it just makes a better overall quality experience and then you know people could you know go back and say hey i was you know at this tournament come and play me um on you know on a room and they can you know schedule an event which i can show you all that in a second um after this battle or i might show you in a different playthrough um of the game but it's just i just feel like instead of you know making fighting games you know turn into uh sports games or shooters you know with the same engine same characters you know same old dlc maybe a couple of new characters thrown in you know give the people exactly what they want and let them have different options to to purchase and consume the content you can still have the brick and mortar game um but offer a free to play alternative that works with the with the game offer a um offer a uh online database that the fighting game can you fighting game community can use to um to um you know navigate and regulate their events and they can sponsor events more easily with the companies because it'll all be digital I'm not saying that you don't have you won't have your you know your challenge on uh brackets or things of that nature but it would just be it, it would be it would be more official and it would unify the fighting game community it would turn more people on the fighting games um because they you know they don't have to spend sixty dollars if they're not that good they could just still jump on have fun and you know and the fighting game community aficionados can jump on and get ready for their events get ready uh you know for their uh setups and their uh playthroughs and things of that nature and you know it it just makes it better for everybody. So, you know, this your boy DJ Killzone Jones. And I just told everybody how to build a better fighting game and a better fighting game community. This your boy DJ Killzone Jones. Kills on Jones, better remember the name. DJ.